Hello everyone and welcome to my channel The Movie Lens. Today I'm going to talk about the 1998 Disney Pixar A Bug's Life directed by John Lasseter and Andrew Stanton. Now this is one of my favorite Pixar movies. And although it is true that it didn't enjoy the iconic stature of The Lion King, Frozen, Finding Nemo, Toy Story, etc. But I could find so much in this movie. It came into my life at a time when I myself was facing the same desperate condition faced by uh, Flick. The fluctuation in his life, everything he does and uh, the consequences are always negative. So I think this is a beautiful character study. The movie has so much to offer. From the very start to the end, uh, the, the movie has a compelling narrative. It has brilliant characterization. And in the start, when the, when the camera just zooms in on that small island and the bird is chirping, and uh, we see there is tranquility outside in the environment, but there is a stampede. There is so much tension on the island. We come to realize that uh, the ants are busy gathering this annual food for uh, the grasshoppers and uh, we are instantly we are immediately introduced to our main character flick now flick is this creative genius this uh, a rebel kind of a free thinker who doesn't abide by the laws and the rules of his society and he is an inventor he's an inventor and he is hated by the society for his creative thinking because uh, you know he he just doesn't abide by the status quo he just want to do things differently and every single project he is involved in he messes it up poor guy he is the victim of the circumstances in many places and it is here that we find uh, similarity between flake and peter parker uh, sam rhyme is 2004 and even in 2016 sing the koala so he is stuck in this uh, failure experience for a very long time and his image is beautifully conveyed and constructed by Pixar. Even in a few dialogues we come to know that um, how much he has messed up his image already in the society. And in the very start scene we see how he ruins all the food. Uh, it was an accident though but he ruins all the food collected by the ant colony as an annual offering for the grasshopper and he manages to do so through his gizmo through his invention uh, anyway when the grasshoppers arrive we are introduced to our protagonist now, this guy is crazy this bug is a devious bug and uh, uh, the way he tightens the screws and the way he spread his tentacles uh, to just keep them in repression, keep them in suppression, that is amazing. I mean, we could. It, Hopper really is the best uh, anime animation villain I have seen in a long time. His speech resonates the uh, notorious theories of totalitarianism and military expansion economic exploitation and this is one of the critique against this movie anyway after messing everything up flick now feels that he has to compensate for the loss and he goes to find those warrior bugs and through a set of circumstances he uh, finds those bugs but they are not warrior bugs they are rather uh, clowns and flick didn't realize because uh, the perspective from uh, or the circumstances in which he see them he sees them uh, he to him they appear as these these very brutal brutal and uh, very cruel <laughs> very powerful and strong and he finds the solution of his misery and the misery of his entire island one thing that i like about this character is that he's very altruistic he just wants to help his society and uh, no matter how many times he fails he still keeps doing it it's like a small baby who is trying to grab uh, a very big ball and every time he gets closer to the ball tries to just grab it he kicks it inadvertently unconsciously and the ball moves on that is how flick kicks uh, the, the the story the plot away every time every time he does something he falls down on his face anyway when those 
clowns are brought to the uh, end island they realize that they were they are here for for fighting with the grasshoppers something that is opposite to the job description they normally offer and they leave the island despite the fact that flick is begging them not to go uh, anyway there we see the bird scene the bird scene where uh, an actual bird they uh, they encounter the bird and then uh, accidentally once again it's not an act of bravery or something but they save prince's dot and now the entire island the entire island is convinced that these are uh, warrior bugs however flick some uh, somehow convinces them that they have to make this bird and uh, a fake bird and when the grasshopper arrives they will just scare them away by releasing that bird and everyone is just happy because it would spare them the the consequences and then we move on to the grasshoppers and their leader hopper now hopper uh, he he delivers a speech a speech that is richly political and uh, brimmed with all those theories this movie has been criticized for for a very long time so when uh, hopper and his gang arrives before that pt arrives another uh, misfortune for uh, flick PT reveals the identity of those clowns in the entire island and Thailand now knows uh, that these are actually the clowns and the clowns breaks the uh, the fact that Flick is responsible because Flick came up with this idea of the bird so now the community has no choice the princess has no choice but, but to repudiate uh, Flick out of the island and the grasshoppers arrives at that time the food is not ready so he gets angry uh in the meantime princess dot manages to just reach flick and they all come back uh to fight the grasshopper through the bird the bird is released but once again it doesn't work and this is the beauty of this plot i really love this plot uh it is it doesn't just go for uh, the leniency it doesn't just go for uh the uh, flexibility it offers no every time it just moves on it tries to teach the protagonist a new lesson it tries to strengthen him uh, uh you know tightening the no- the knot around him so no there is no convenience even this time and hopper knows that it was a fake bird and that they were playing with him he gets really angry and uh, he beats flick almost to death because flick now uh, it's time for him to just finally stand up to uh, the grasshopper the hopper and uh, the speech that he delivers on that occasion comes in direct contrast with the speech delivered by uh, into direct contrast speech de- with the speech delivered by uh, grasshopper and for a very good reason because you know according to john truby and that is a very calculated definition um, offered by john truby in his book an anatomy of story uh, is that the protagonist and the antagonist must aim at the same goal they must have they must share the same target otherwise the story would lose its charm and in this movie we see so much tussle between the ideas and the struggle that the protagonist and the antagonist make throughout the movie and uh, the contrast has been shown in many ways just like flick is a common place nobody and uh, hopper he's a leader flick is a free thinker while uh, hopper is against freedom freedom of speech uh in any kind of freedom freedom in any form so that speech that flick gives on that occasion uh is uh, it's is it's rich with uh with with everything that could contrast with the speech offered by uh, hopper the entire community is now uh triggered to uh, believe in their strength uh something that hopper was always trying to keep in suppression uh keep in pressure and not to allow the the ants to realize the fact but now they have and uh, uh, the grasshoppers are compelled to leave the island forever and even now the story doesn't end there and it is not till the very climactic scene when uh, hopper is finally um 
killed by that bird he becomes a food of that bird when the ant colony is relieved so uh, from from the first scene when when the camera just zooms in to the last scene when the camera just zooms out uh, we can see beautiful drama brilliant characterization so much irony in the story uh, so that's how the movie ends the zooming out scene once again is in complete contrast with the zooming in scene where we see there is excitement there is jubilation and celebration on the island an island that from 2 meters has nothing to offer we don't even know nobody knows that there is an existence on that puny island of uh, ants so that's it the movie to me is filled with nostalgia i love the way those small ants walk through those blades of grasses and they literally climb them they sit there it's so nostalgic to me that puny existence is just like the romantic escapism for me i guess and i love it i love watching it every time i watch it uh, despite the fact that it has been censured with all those you know uh, uh, negative theories or something totalitarianism and capitalism and economic exploitation and this and that but i always approach it as a pure entertainment thank you so much guys for watching the video if you like the video please subscribe the channel and stay tuned for more updates thank you